BFI, I mean, do so much great stuff. How important is their kind of continued support of the British film uh, legacy, if you like, now more than ever, given you know how how the world is at the minute? Well, I think it, it doesn't matter how the world is; it just has to be looked after, you know. And I think if you if no one's got their eye on the ball of it, then it then then you know certainly the archival stuff just goes by the by because it feels like everyone has a fee. As much as everyone loves film, they just kind of automatically assume it will look after itself because. Of, you know, DVD and, and whatever, and that it's it's going to be kicking around. But no, I think that the work that they do and it's um, invaluable, really. Yeah. I just had a look uh, earlier today. I knew you were coming. Hopefully, to talk to you that uh, your film Down Terrace is ten years old this year, and yes. you did it at Rain Dance. How are you? Do you get reflective at all about that experience? Because that was your first kind of full-length feature film, if, if memory serves. Do you kind of look back and have you take, taken lessons into your films since then? Yeah, I don't know. I think. Uh, it, it, you change so much as a person all the time and uh, when you look and I find when I look back at the films I can't really remember the person who did it and it's almost like a little record of who where you were at that point you kind of watch it back and it feels quite alien almost um, and it, as, as it went on I mean a lot some of the prep for some of the other films we did me and Laurie Rose would be to re-watch all the films because we couldn't remember what we'd done you know and I think that it's reflective in that way and then slightly indulgent but not in a, <laughs> in a kind of you know, nostalgic way, more in just a surprised way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you've done some amazing films over your career. What's drawn you to remake Rebecca and also now the announcement that you're going to do Tomb Raider 2, which is very exciting. I mean, what drew you to those at this point in your career? Um, I think Rebecca was just, um, uh, I'd read, I read the script and I kind of have a, have a kind of a divining rod thing of t choosing projects which I just go, what is the really, you know, what's the most extreme end of what you could be doing? And I was like, well, this is, I must read this script. And, I, and the script really surprised me, you know, and, I'd, and I knew the film, but I didn't. And I thought I knew the book and I didn't. And there was loads of twists in it, which I didn't see coming. And I thought, well, this is, if it's surprising me and I've got like this kind of weird trace memory of what it should have been, but it wasn't, then maybe that's the thing that the audience, you know, it's such a great story that the, the modern audience will be open to a, a retelling of it. And I think it's one of those films we think we, I mean, I'm speaking for myself, obviously, but I think you think you know it and you just don't, you know, so I think that's, you know. Um, and also the, you know, and it's, and it's kind of going back to the book and trying to get closer to the actual, what the, you know, the, the plot, the story of the book. Yeah. And what's drawn you to, to do Tomb Raider? I know it's quite new news that you're, you're set to do it, but yeah. what's kind of drawn you to, to that world, which is, I guess, a much vaster, kind of bigger movie than you've done before? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a, I, I'm a, I've played games all my life and kind of, um, and, and uh, Free Fire was kind of like a reaction, almost a kind of reaction to playing lots of computer games. And, um, and again, it was one that just kind of came up and I was like, oh my God, I, don't, I wouldn't even think of doing that. But now, now if someone said it out loud, it sounds brilliant, you know. And, uh, um, uh, and we've been trying to make a kind of um, an action, um, like a big studio action thing for a long time. Um, and, and it had come kind of a little bit out of the ashes of Freak Shift, which was something that we were going to do with Alicia Vikander anyway. So, you know, that, and when this came up, I was like, oh my God, yeah, let's just do it. As a filmmaker, do you get excited for the London Film Festival? I mean, is there any filmmakers or movies as part of the festival that you're looking forward to seeing, maybe not now, but in the future? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I kind of, I go, I dip in and out of it, you know, and like sometimes I'm kind of up to date with stuff and sometimes I've, I've no idea what's going on and then it's a nice surprise. I mean, at the moment I'm just watching um, uh, a load of karate movies from the 70s, so that's what I'm doing, you know, so I, I don't know what's going on, so I'll, I'll, I'll find out. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!